Here's the Google Nest Hub. Now I just changed my Wi-Fi password, so I need to update the password on my Nest Hub here too, and you'll be able to update your SSID or network name as well as the Wi-Fi password. Now originally I thought it was gonna be easy. I went to the Alexa app, tried to change it, couldn't do it, and then even on here, if I go to settings and I see network right here, it says not connected, but it's grayed out. I, I, I can't do anything. So, what we simply got to do is do a factory reset on this, okay? So, now if you look on the side here, you have a volume up and down button here. So, what we want to do is press and hold both buttons and wait till the factory reset starts, okay? So, let me hold both volume up and volume down. Ready, set, go. Press and hold. Now, I'm going to keep on holding and wait for this countdown to run out. You're about to completely reset this device. Release to cancel. I'm still holding here. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and let go. I'm just gonna go ahead and let it restart. And as I'm waiting for that to restart, let me open up my Google Home here. And I go under Devices, Kitchen Display, you can see it's offline. Let me go ahead and just remove this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and to get started, tap on that. The Google Home. And then we just wanna remove that first one we had because we're gonna basically make another one. So just go here and just remove device, remove. Okay, it's removed. Now sometimes you get a little window here to go ahead and connect, but I didn't get no window here that um, shows me how to go ahead and uh, connect the hub, but no problem. So just make sure you click on devices and then we're gonna click on add right here. And then from here, we're gonna click on Google Nest partner device right there. I'm gonna use that add home address right there. Click on next, looking for devices now. Okay, that took like 30 seconds, but Nest Hub, it must be this one up here. So let me tap on that, click on next, scan QR code here. There's a QR code right there. If this doesn't work, you can go ahead and set up without the QR code as well. Okay, but we're going to go ahead and you have, kind of have to move back kind of far sometimes to see how far I am. There you go. Now it registers. Connecting to Nest Hub. Oops. Let me try again. Let's see. Ah, I went through that time. Okay, so additional legal terms. Go ahead and read through that. Agree if you agree. Help improve Nest Hub. Read through that. If you're in, say yes, I'm in. Where's the device? For me, it's going to be in the kitchen here. I'm going to tap on next. Now, from here, I can connect to my new Wi Fi network and put in a new password, but I only changed my uh my password i kept my network name the same here so for me i i just tap it and i just click on next and it'll probably ask me to update my password it says connected on both screens and then go ahead and read through that confirm your preference go ahead and redo that you can set up as a new or you can continue to use your previous settings i'm fine with that so i'm just going to go ahead and just confirm okay looks like we're good here and I don't need any of this. I'm just going to click on not now. Staying a no. Ah, eh, not for me. No thanks. It's a preference. And I'm on the iPhone here, so. So. So this is what I just set up here. I'm going to tap on next. Learn about your controls. You can click on next and read through that. I'm just going to go not now. Kitchen display is ready. Go ahead and continue. And you can see my kitchen display here is. It's not grayed out no more. Here to help you throughout your day. So you can get started. Let me skip that tour. Anyway, there you go. Hey Google, what's today's forecast? Today in Monrovia, it'll be sunny with a forecasted We're high of good. 84.